Hi. It's your teacher, Ms. Monroe. And so today, um, because of time constraints with the teacher walkout, I'm going to be dissecting this pig uterus that I ordered for us. Okay, so unlike a human uterus, the pig uterus is divided into two horns. So like the, our uterus is about the size of a pear, and there's just one um, sac, usually. Some, in rare cases, some people are born with two. But a pig's uterus, as you can see, it has like a right and a left side. So this is the left side horn that comes out this way. This is the right side that comes out this way. Okay, so if we were to look at the um, structures down here, this tube right here is actually the vagina and the cervix. And then you follow it around and there is an ovary right here. And it doesn't... I mean, it's hard to see. Okay, now this right here is the blood vessel that supplies blood to the uterus. But here's the ovary. Okay. That's the vaginal opening, and then the cervix is up here. All right, so when you... Um, what I've done here is I'm going to extract a, a fetal pig from the right horn of the uterus. So... Um, the right, my right, but the pig's left. So what I've done is the arch of the uterus at the top is called the fundus. And so I have made a mid-sagittal cut along the fundus of the uterus, and I am going to pull this back. And by the way, this outer covering of the uterus is called the perimetrial lining. Okay, and then as I retract it back, this is the endometrial lining. So if you ever hear of people with endometriosis, they have disease on the endometrial lining here. Okay, so what I have found is inside, there is a little piglet that is encased in what is the amniotic sac. So we have the same structure in our uterus whenever we develop a baby the uh, the baby is encased in a sac full of fluid called the um, amniotic sac. Okay, so what, and it's very, very uh, fragile. So what I'm going to do here is just try and um, extract this baby who will be attached to the placenta uh, via an umbilical cord. Okay, so let's see if I can, I don't know how I'm going to be able to do this without... Um, putting the phone down, but let me see whether I could just tear through it. The amniotic sac is very, very thin. And so like whenever the water breaks, um, the sac just pretty much gets a tear in it, just like I'm doing now. Okay, so I am pulling out a baby piglet. Okay, now watch how, okay, so this little baby pig, see him? All right, so this baby pig just like we are, is attached with an umbilical cord. And the umbilical cord is attached to the placenta. And unlike humans, pigs have multiple placentas because they give birth to multiple babies at once. Okay, so I wanted to show you this um, placenta. And you can even see, like, all of the blood vessels that um, feed the baby nutrients while it's in its mom's um, uterus. So this little baby piglet is about, gosh, he's big. He's probably about four inches long. And um, you can't really tell the sex of a piglet until much later. However, I am suspecting that this is a female only because she has teats and the beginnings of teats, which are these uh, uh, nipples, which are along either side. But right now, I can't really tell what this baby is. I mean, you can pull its little tail down, but it's not like gonna be obvious until um, later. So I'm thinking this is a female, but I, again, it's hard to tell when they're this, this uh, size. So, and that is a C-section of a pig uterus, ladies and gentlemen.